Hi guys, I can barely believe what I walked into in a Christian meeting a couple of weeks ago. And this is not the first time this has happened in a Christian church or organisation here in Jerusalem. And I just despair at the deception, the counterfeit spirit, the uh, kundalini evil that is coming in to our buildings and, you know, into the hearts of, of people who are perhaps striving to know God. But what's even more worrying is that there's no shepherds to look out for them. I'm going to show you the footage that I took when I walked into this meeting. And it, as you'll see, it's all about birthing. This kundalini spirit is the most disturbing thing I have ever walked into, especially in a place that's Christian. So I show you this, you know, Please turn it off if it disturbs you because it's very disturbing. But this is demonic, this is evil, and I show you this to warn you to stay well away from this type of thing. It is not Christianity, it is the New Age Kundalini Antichrist spirit. Bethel TV. There's a great deception coming, folks. It's being drunk in the spirit. <laughs> These people are under the influence of a cruel form of hypnotism in which their psyche is broken down to leave them vulnerable to the power of suggestion and the manipulation of demonic spirits. This also seemed to have a specific goal into making them reenact the birthing process of a woman. <laughs> You know, the giving of birth is accompanied by celebration. <laughs> and I can't prove this to you, but I believe there are angels that come to watch when God's birthing a new thing. And I ask, the old box, the old wine skin won't get anymore. The old box, the old wine skin won't work anymore. For you are doing a new thing. For you are doing a new thing. The Lord is doing a new thing. Capture the 
More strange than not was that the this was just a few days after September the 23rd this year when all the people across the world were talking about this Revelation 12 sign. And as you just heard, the dragon not catching and devouring the babies, that's a direct quotation from that passage. And of course it includes that birthing, this imitative magic it seems of corrupting these Christian people and making them enact through these familiar deceptive spirits, this birthing action. Illuminized Freemasonry has adopted this picture of the first family of paganism as the formula by which they intend to produce their Masonic Christ, or Antichrist, on the world scene. Masons believe that the Divine Child, the Masonic Christ, will be conceived and born on the spiritual plane and that conception and delivery will be transferred to the physical plane. In fact, there was a number of desecrations that took place with the Mekadeshet festival uh, during this period of time in Jerusalem. It was seemed like a sustained attack from the enemy. And what's worse is these young, influential people are caught right in the middle of it. Now, the basic question that we're asking in this documentary is, why are these manifestations so similar to Eastern religions and Hinduism and the Kundalini cults and yet they're not found in scripture, they're not found in the Bible, they're not found in classical Christianity at all. <laughs> now this all began with Rodney Howard Brown imparting a new anointing into a bunch of leaders and they spread it around the world. The Kundalini spirit, which is a serpent spirit that has been brought into the Western culture or Western world through many Pentecostal preachers who, my friend, they, they are very charismatic. They have been hungry for power and it has opened them up to this fraudulent counterfeit with they attribute to being the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, my friend, is the mind of God. He is the communicator of heaven and he does not make a fool out of you. He does not make a scene out of you. This 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 is the 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 channeling, the summoning of these uh evil spirits oftentimes is through music. Because why? Music sets the atmosphere and oftentimes people tend to relax and they empty themselves out. They, they really become more uh, vulnerable to being open to this demonic spirit. The Bible clearly teaches us, beloved, John said, do not believe every spirit, but test every spirit to see if it be of God. Be vigilant, be sober, because you have an adversary and he mimics and counterfeits everything that is of God. And he started to laugh for half an hour. He couldn't control himself. Он не мог контролировать he себя. Laughed and laughed. Он просто смеялся there, и смеялся. There was no preaching. And he told us, this is a new move with the Holy Ghost. Это новое движение Святого Духа. He's laughing. Только смех. And he calls it a move of God. Let me ask you a question. Позвольте задать вам вопрос. The Holy Ghost who wrote this book, who said the truth sets you free, would he cause the minister to laugh so he cannot preach this word? That's crazy. Where's the spiritual discernment? Here's a man, and he's walking through the congregation, hissing at people like a snake. And they start wiggling on the floor like a snake. People down here barking. That's not what I read about my Jesus. I don't see altar calls. I don't see people weeping for sin. This deception stems from the pagan movements that the Holy Spirit is a female energy that will transcend all our restrictions. 
which is clearly the direct opposite of what the Bible actually says. And from this, we understand that this counterfeit version of the Holy Spirit is just a ruse to cover the fact that what is really being summoned in these rituals is the goddess Diana, or the Kabbalistic spirit of Sophia, Shekinah, the Kundalini spirit of enlightenment, Isis, and all of the above. What we are really talking about is Lucifer, the destroyer, the spirit of Antichrist. And that's why you see so many now idolising this emotional, experiential, loose, unrestricted, boundaryless euphoria, rather than the sound foundation of doctrine of God's word. It's a house that's being built on sinking sand, and the sheep are losing their boundary of protection as there are few strong shepherds willing to stand up to fight off this wolf. Now this is not an attack on women at all, ladies have an important role in the body of Christ, but this is clearly an agenda. Remember, in order for that wicked woman Jezebel to rule, there must be no men to stand in her way. So we've heard people talking about that um, 45 foot tall statue of nude woman to stand next to Washington Mon Monument. Uh, you've probably seen this. You can see that this sculpture has actually come from the Burning Man. Burning Man. Think about it. Masculine. Burning the Masculine Festival in Nevada Desert, which is a very pagan occult witchcraft festival. So this is the statue that they are talking about putting up in Washington DC next to the outreached and stretched out and you know she's asking for equal rights. That's what it means to me. With your help, we are going to be able to bring her right here to the National Mall in Washington DC. See that? So it's about empowerment of the woman. It is about this statue being put next to the phallic in uh, Washington. So this is what this is about, you know, this female empowerment energy, um, this false goddess Diana worship. And you can see, again, it's that same thing, the divine feminine aspect. And we can see that, that this common theme through this. Okay, and so then they had, just a few days ago, on the mall, the National Mall in Washington DC, the same place that they are talking about putting that giant naked woman statue, they had this uh, Awaken the Dawn. So again, the birthing of a new age, that terminology. And they had this Rise Up Women's uh, Conference. This is a Christian one. So look, look at the terminology. 
Once again, women must birth a sweeping new Jesus movement, rising up in the nation as great evangelists and spiritual mothers to turn us back to God. So there's elements of, you know, reasonable things in that. There are elements, but the terminology, awaken the dawn, um, birthing, you know, birthing, there's some great poison, and it's about this divine feminine new age. And without proper shepherds, as, you know, biblical shepherds, you know, the way the Bible tells us to do things, if we step outside of that, then all hell breaks loose because we lose that blessing, we lose that structure, we we lose it. And there are no, you know, lack of real shepherds to stop this deception sweeping into the church, to stop the wolf from coming into the flock. So we need more men to stand up and be shepherds and to warn of the deception and to stand boldly. I believe the collective cry of a million mothers around the world is going to birth a movement that is greater than anything we have ever seen. The giving of birth is accompanied by celebration. 